What's up everybody? Hello. So today we're gonna play this game called Boyfriend Girlfriend Tag and it's this game to find out how well your significant other really knows you. And being that Jill is one of the shittiest girlfriends <laughs> in the world, True. she's probably not gonna know me very well even though I smashed it in her video and I got 9 out of 10 and let's see if this dirty little hoe can <laughs> get better than that. Your mom is a dirty little hoe. She is a bitch. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Alright. Let me play. First question. When was our first road trip? Road trip. I think it was in 2009 and we drove to San Francisco. That was the first time I ever took you to San Francisco. I think it was your first time too, ever going there. And I drove. Because I'm an awesome girlfriend. And are you sure about this? Yeah. I'm pretty 100%. Well, guess what? You got it right. Oh, God. <laughs> you're going to be an ass. What? I think you're going to be like, fuck you, you're wrong. No, you got it right. All right, cool. You got lucky right there. Whew. Next question. If I could live anywhere in the U.S., where would it be? Oh, in the U.S., huh? Hey? Mm-hmm, huh? Hey. Huh? Hey. Uh, of course, uh, we wouldn't be a couple if we didn't want to live in the exact same place. Hawaii, hello. Why do I want to live in Hawaii? Why do I want to live in Hawaii? Huh? Why do I want to live in Hawaii? Uh, even though you've never been there, Mm -hmm. uh, you would like to live there because just what you've heard. It's beautiful beaches. You're like in love with water. So you're, one of your dreams is to live by a, a body of water. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't. Uh, so that's da, one. Da, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> that's one. And Hawaii is hella chill. You like the culture. You like how like there's if anyone has beef, they just fucking fight and they're like, what, bro? You got some shit, bro? All right, bro, let's handle it. They duke it out and then they're all cool. But then, for the most part, everyone's really chill, really relaxed. They dress like you right now in freaking flip flop shorts, nothing in your hair, raggedy ass shirt, shitty ass face. Yeah. So that's so you call all Hawaiian shitty faces? No, just you. Ooh, that's Ooh. fucked up. She's gonna I go to Hawaii, Hawaii, so you guys gotta jump her because she calls all you guys shitty faces. Never. I would never do that. I love you guys. Why'd you call them shitty faces? No, I'm just now? calling you shitty face. Mm hmm. Fine. So what? Fine, you got it right. Duh. Because you're only getting the easiest answers in the world from the easiest questions. You got the same questions. No. Whatever. Next question. All right. One food I don't like and you cannot say. You can't say that. You can't no, say that. No, because that was too easy. That was too easy. That was too easy, too easy. And you can't say <laughs> no. cilantro. What? There's not really that many things you don't like. Yeah, there it is. All right. Well, then you can't eat that you don't like. Mm -hmm. Damn. That's not fair. <laughs> Good. That one's a go-to one. If all of you guys know, then that means, and if you only know the same amount of information that they know, and they already don't know that I don't like cilantro. They don't know that. They do. This if you watch JK Party and all that, a JK film, you guys know I don't like cilantro only But you got to say chocolate, and everyone knows I don't like chocolate. You got away with that. That's like so fucking basic information. Everyone knows I always preach I hate chocolate. All right, fine. Just, fine, fine, fine. I'll, I'll give it to you. What is one other food I don't like other than cilantro then? <laughs> Uh, you don't like intestines. Ooh, I don't like intestines. Fine, you got it right. In your fucking face! I love whoa, the whoa, 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 come at me. Hey, so for all the guys out there. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, See, you always try to copy my style. See, she always tries to copy my style. Like, what I'll do is I'll, I'll pinch her nipples in the shower, <laughs> and then later, and later she'll try to pinch my nipples. I'm like, what the hell? You can't copy my style. If you want to invade my privacy, you gotta come up with your own other way. That's why within the first month of our relationship, I already poked all her holes. Poked her in the butt, pinched her little nipple, <laughs> Little clitoris. Oh I did all my that stuff. God, that shut way, up. That way, afterwards, shut she up. can't so copy my style because I already claimed all of that shit. And I could repeatedly <laughs> rape all those things if I wanted to. You just look stupid because you have this hair. Hey, I'm around. tucking it back in. God damn it. You're can't believe you said all this shit. You're messing, it, you. you're messing up. Give me a point, god damn it. What's my biggest fear? Um, You are afraid of, well, heights for one. This one's too easy. No, you're afraid of heights for one. Another one is uh, uh, specifically uh, roller coasters. Why? Because you feel like you have no control over everything. And like one of the things that happens is like you have like, I don't know what goes on in your head, but as soon as you're waiting in line or you're looking at a roller coaster, you just start seeing all the little nuts and bolts just like start unscrewing themselves, kind of like a Final Destination style. And then like you see it happen before it happens and you see like this thing derail and then like all these people just like fly off and then just crash into a million pieces. No, pretty much you got it right. Fine. You know what my fears are. Fine. Good for you. You get a cookie. What kind of cookie? You're probably gonna get the wrong cookie. 
Next question. What is one food I could eat every day? Every day. Well, um, you're not a very picky fellow. And depending on what like your dietary goal is or your dietary needs. So that means this question should be so fucking easy to you because I am the non most non-pickiest, go with the flow, happy-go-lucky motherfucker out there. So you better not get this one wrong. And if you get it wrong, it counts as two negative points. Oh damn. Okay. So yeah, you're not really picky, so you can eat pretty much anything like every single day. So you can eat Chipotle every single day, you can eat like flame broiler every day. That's if you're like on a cut or whatever, you can eat like chicken breast and bri rice and veggies like every single day. But if you were like in prison and they were like, hey, you know what, you're about to die, this is your last month and you can eat one meal, only one meal every single day, your hands down go-to would be sushi every day. Like you would eat sushi every single fucking day if you could. Sashimi specifically. It's pretty close. <gasps> I'm not right? No, because there's actually a, it's actually really, really hard to get this wrong because there's a ton of shit I can eat every day. But you've specifically said sushi. I've specifically said a ton of other shit too. <laughs> I love a lot of food. I love hamburgers. I, I know love, you could eat that I every love, day I too, love McDonald I... burgers. I like McDonald fucking fake ass burgers that you can leave in your car for six months and it'll never rot. Will happen. <laughs> All the way up to the gourmet burgers that is like medium rare and it's a half pound of fucking top sirloin. Grill them all for sure. Grill them all, like those, those really high end burgers. I, I love and all the burgers in between. I love pizza. I fucking hate Costco pizza with a passion, but I'll still eat that shit if you put that How in front of me. How can you say you like pizza, but you don't like Costco pizza? Because it's What's not real pizza. pizza. Everyone that like, bomb. everybody that eats pizza, if you're a pizza connoisseur, connoisseur, you would know Costco pizza is not real pizza. The dough, it's not real pizza, the but dough, it's bomb ass no, pizza. The dough, then you can't even call it pizza. I've never even had pizza that I don't like. You can't even call cafeteria it pizza. pizza you that's can't cardboard. call it pizza though. Because it's made out of the chicken bake flour. You can't call that pizza. Real pizza, bomb. you gotta have an Italian guy throwing it in the back. That's real pizza. Pizza is life. You don't even know what you're talking about. I, am, I know what I'm talking about. Because I hate Costco pizza and I'll still eat more of that shit than you. In your face. <laughs> anyway. But I like the Italian style pizza where it's thin. I like it where it's like the sauce is like uh, sparsely spread all over the place and it's not cheese covering the whole thing. Like the American style, it's like an entire layer of uh, tomato sauce, entire layer of cheese. Where else have you had pizza? Entire layer, huh? Where else have you had pizza? What are you talking about? All over the place. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like where? Outside of the US. What do you mean? I don't know. That's a fucking very direct question. I used to have, so I used to have pizza in the U.S. What are you talking about? Well, we're also outside of because you're talking about American American pizza. style pizza. <laughs> American style pizza, like the American version of pizza. There's so many variations of pizza. I know, obviously, but I'm just telling you that what the Americans did when they took this Italian creation is now they add an entire layer of tomato sauce and an entire layer of cheese, which the Italians never did that. So they bomb. The Italian method, it's it's sprinkled, it's like sparsely sprinkled, and it's really lightly seasoned, and you can taste every single ingredient when you put it in your mouth. And every That's slice bomb. tastes different. Because one slice might have two pieces of pepperoni, the other one might have three pieces of basil. That's how they do their pizzas. And I like margarita. Fine, give me a point. I win. Hey, pop bear, is your tummy empty right now? And then that's kind of how the CUNY goes down. Or even if we're even if we're pissed at each other, then you can't be pissed. You can't be like, dude, don't even look at me. 